see the thing of it is part two the thing of it is the uh when i said the liberals support the collective uh in every contest against the individual liberals hate individualism because it demands a more responsibility okay they support collectivism because they hope to eliminate the need for a more responsibility in other words an individual more responsibility that each one of us have they hate that they want a collectivism of whatever they want to do the government says it's fine so they can do it so they promote that agenda that nothing's wrong if it feels right and if it feels good do it but I gotta tell you there are certain things that are not right and that will be detrimental to you and to your family you see but that's what they're pushing because they, the, the most destructive thing that a liberal and communist agenda can do is destroy what's known as the family the, the collective family unit has been near about demolished in America because that's part of their manifesto, the Communist Manifesto, the liberal agenda, you see. Because, you know, you, I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, an example. I've traveled a lot in my life. My wife, and I've traveled with my wife and my kids a lot. I mean, sometimes I had to go without them. I didn't like it. I never liked sleeping in a motel or anywhere without my wife because for uh, 19 years, buddy, she's been my soulmate and... I love being with her. Do we disagree on things? You bet your rear end we do. But that's because we are different humans, but we've become one flesh through the 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 knowing and understanding of each other and the help from God we become one. Now, are we still two people? Yes we are. But we're one in our agenda and our hope and our faith that our kids are gonna be something other than somebody. And I don't mean anything against this when I say this, it, uh uh but somebody that's tattooed from head to toe or got earrings sticking out of every part of their body, you know, my kids just are not going to go down that path as long as they live under my roof. And I've taught them from the time they were old enough to hear, think, understand that that, that, that is not the way that I choose to raise my children. And, I, and, and having said that, I believe because God gave those kids to me and loaned them to me for a season, and uh, they still belong to Him. We all belong to God, whether you believe it or not. It doesn't matter to me whether you believe it or not. You all belong to God. Behold, all souls are mine. So, uh, you're going to just have to pardon me when I quote these scriptures and things because that's just what's in me, okay? I've already told you that end time watchman is not perfect, okay? I, I don't believe I mean even somebody to look up to in a sense, but I do because I believe that, that a lot of you out there have a lot more to say than I do. It's just that I believe I'm doing what's right, and I'm, I believe I'm doing what my calling is, Okay? Now, I put on this earth to do a purpose and serve a purpose, and, and a big part of my purpose is to get this out to you and uh, give you the truth and let you decide whether you want this truth or do you want that facade, this so-called truth that's a lie, you see, in any event. Back to the traveling for a minute, y'all. My wife and I and the kids have traveled so much across this nation. I mean, from one side of it to the other. Okay, and in our traveling, we have found that, you know, let, let's just use a, a hotel for example. They're not family friendly anymore. If you've got a big family, they're not they're they're not there to cater you. Most of them ain't. You know, I've had to uh, rent uh, like, for example, and I'm just laying this on the line and trying to go slow and trying to take it easy. If you got four kids and a wife, okay, you got a 16-year-old daughter and a 12-year-old daughter, and then you got a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and you got a wife, you know, you'd like to have a suite for everybody to be comfortable and asleep when you pay that much at a motel, okay? Or hotel, whatever you want to call it. And I would even go so far as to rent adjoining rooms, connecting rooms where you don't have to go out in the hall and come back into the other door. If I'm making any sense, if you understand, if you ever traveled, you know what I'm talking about. But I have I spent tons and tons of money with certain chains, certain nice chains, 
But you know the honors and everything I've got and the uh, platinum and the elite membership and all, it just seems that no matter how much you spend or what you do, the thing today is not to promote the family. Because I would call, pick up the phone, we'd be traveling, and I'd say, you know, get on the get on the uh, computer and look for where, let's just say Hilton Garden Inn is or something else. And I'd call and I'd say, look, I need connecting rooms for tonight, two queen beds in each room, bam. We got it made then. Well, sir, we don't have, but uh, we don't know if we can make that available. And I'm like, well, don't you have enough sense to look at the layout of the rooms and what you've rented out and what you haven't rented out? Well, there may be somebody come in, sir, and we just can't uh, do that, okay? And I've spent tons of money, and you can't do that. And it, it don't matter what chain it is. They're not going to promote and why do they have the connected rooms to start with if they're not going to be able to let you get the two rooms okay where you and your family can be comfortable as you travel and you pay the good money for it you see i mean that's just one example you know and then if you've got a bigger vehicle like we have because i have a big family i mean i've got an excursion a power stroke excursion four wheel drive and you know most of the parking places nowadays don't don't want to accept that or a van maybe if you've got one they want a compact car thing. I mean, see, the agenda is this. They want to reduce the family down, just like China did, to one or two kids, and that's it. Well, you know, some of us aren't happy with one or two kids. Some of us want six kids. Some of us may want seven or eight or 18, you know? And if your institution or your, and it's your prerogative, my friend, if you don't want to make it family friendly at all, then you know what? I've spent tons of money on traveling. I just won't. I just won't patronize you. And that's see, that's the thing about the freedom of being an American. You can choose or not to choose to go to that certain uh, uh, hotel or, or that certain restaurant or whatever. You know, they, if, I've been in restaurants and they frown down. You know, because you know my kids may not be sitting there like a zombie. They may, you know, four year old to two year old got a lot of energy. And uh, you know, we 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 try to make their performance this legitimate and and uh, teach them that they shouldn't be riled up. But at the same time, when a four-year-old and a two-year-old, uh, you know, wants to play a little bit, I mean, my God, man, you wanted to play when you was a kid. It's just that you grew out of it, and you figured that, you know what? I can't stand those kids. They, they, they may laugh or something. They may shout or something in that restaurant, and I wish he'd get them out of there. Well, here's the deal. Screw you. When I went to a restaurant, and I wanted to go to a restaurant, if my kids made a little noise and somebody had a problem with it and, and, and they snurkered and, and bickered and bitched about it, you know, under their breath, I would ask them, if you've got something to say, why don't you get it loud enough where we can hear it and we can discuss it, you know? I mean, if you don't like families, fine. But don't come over here giving me no crap about mine because I'm not going to put up with it. I love my kids and I love my wife. My kids are going to be alive. My kids are going to be vibrant. My kids are going to know what it means to exert energy and have fun. Now, they're not going to get out of line, but at the same time, you've got to understand, kids are kids, you see. But that's not promoted today. And I say all that to say this. The liberal agenda is this. Don't have a bunch of kids. If you do, don't bring them in public. What kind of bull crap is that? I mean, who the hell are you to tell me that I can't go to a restaurant with my kids? I don't go anymore much. But when I did, you know, I would uh, get the snide comments and all. And I had a, I, and one time I had a guy that uh, I was stirring this up, making noise in the glass, you know, and and uh, and he told me, he said, you, you need to shut that noise up. That's bothering me. I said, well, I'll shut it up when I come shove that spoon down your throat. You might want to shut up, buddy. I mean, it's just, you know, just some kind of idiot like that that thinks that they rule the world and nobody has a right to go free and travel and do what they want to do. And you get what I'm saying. And of course, he sat down and he didn't want no piece of this, you see. But having said that, uh, all I was doing was showing my kids that I'm not a spineless worm, that if somebody's got an attitude and they think they rule the world, then by God, let's talk about it, you see. I mean, that's just the way I am. And I'm not promoting violence by saying that, but what I am saying is this. American Patriot, we've, we, we've let it go and let it go and let it go and turn a blind eye to it till it's... By God, it's about time that we stood up and we be accounted for and be men, you know? I'll be back with the third part. I'm running out of time. Stay with me.